Man, I got I need a longer song. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? <laughs> it's just it's not enough time anymore. Uh now that I've tried to do I'm trying to get Twitch chat. So I got Twitch chat and then I gotta get YouTube chat and I can't get those until the video starts. Oh man. Oh mercy. Mercy. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? I saw Piston Brokes here. Reese, all right. I still don't have the chat from YouTube. Give me a second. <laughs> don't know why YouTube is being really slow. I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna blame YouTube. I'm gonna blame YouTube. Hey, do I look like I just woke up? Because I did. I needed to. Oh, shh. I needed to uh, catch up on some sleep. I guess. Didn't really realize it, but. There we go. There's some chat. All right. Pop out. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Whew. All right. Happy Thursday, everybody. How's it going? Stove Dr. Reese, Gary, Rick, Pratum, Tony, Will. What's happening? All right. Jaguar, Infinity, Fabian, Peters here, Mark, Jim Ward. Hey, it was working last night, buddy. It was working last night. Jim, it was working last night, Ward. <laughs> How's it going? Whee! All right. Oh, Jerry's here. How's it going? All right. Lardog. Lardog 1954. Let's do something fun for you. Let me scroll through my... I've got too many screens now. We're going to do this one right off the bat, just to get his woke up. Frederick from Sweden. How's it going? Thanks for being here. Up, any bug updates today? Sure. I got the headlights working. That's an update. And uh, I'm about... It's always hard to say how how far along I am on editing a video because it's, it's always like that last few percent that takes me forever. <laughs> Frank's here! Yes! The stream, you, you're... Frank's ready for the stream title. You see what page I got pulled up over here too? I think I'm ready to do it. I was tinkering around with it last night. So I think I'm ready to do it. <clears throat> but yeah, I was working on a, editing a video for the uh, bug motor. So I think the way I'm going to chop it up is into each sort of major component. So video for the motor, video for the motor controller, video for the coupling, the transmission and the motor together, video for the battery, things like that. Video for the car itself, sort of like the body and, and the suspension brakes, those kinds of things, and break it up like that. So... I'm about done with the one for the motor. Um, so hopefully in the next few days I'll get that done. So the stream title is scaring you. Well, here's how here's how, here's how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Hide your secrets. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go through that real quick. And this is what's gonna happen. I'm just kind of I'm accepting it this way. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put my config on GitHub. And then uh when um once it's up there, people can look at it. And they can find my secrets if they're there, and then they tell me about it. And if it's if I they find some and there are things that I need to be concerned about, then I'll take it down again, and I'll take those things out and I'll put it back up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Ninety percent of video editing takes ten percent. The last ten percent takes ninety percent of the time. Ain't that the truth, Piston? Ain't that the truth? Why don't we set up YouTube join button? I I have submitted my stuff, Reese. I have submitted my stuff. I guess since you're saying that it must not be it must not be ready yet. I don't know if it'll give me the join button. Probably won't show me the join button. But there's I I submitted it. I went through the process. You had to to in order to get the join button uh for YouTube, which is some I guess equivalent or something similar to the subscribe in Twitch where you kind of pay you know, you sort of, you sign up to send money every month. Um, then that's when, uh, so in, in YouTube, the equivalent of that is this join button and you, before you can get a join button, you have to get, uh, you have to set up things like you have to set up tiers <clears throat> not like this. <laughs> you have to set up tiers like first level, second level, third level, and then what um you know what rewards 
going to give for those levels. And then you submit that to YouTube and then they have to approve it. And I don't know what that approval process uh, looks like or how long it might take, but that's the step I'm on. So we're waiting for that. That's the 80-20 rule and pretty much everything you do, 80% of the work takes 20% of the time. <laughs> oh, it's called the Pareto principle. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. Uh, plus, for some reason, my text to speech automation told me Frank was streaming, then immediately told me Dr. Z was streaming. <laughs> Fortnite gamer, someday I'm going to find out who you are. Thank you for restreaming, or whatever it is. Bitwarden Reese hasn't finished the Bitwarden instructions. That's okay, there's time. We're still, we're still on lockdown here, so we got time. We're, we got time. How's it going today, Jose? It is going so well. I can't even believe it. I can't, I cannot imagine what could possibly make it any better. How about that? How about that? Um, we do have some awesome news from Blade, who I don't think has shown up yet, but Blade's been tinkering around with, um, bots like he does. He's the bot master. Um, there's probably a lot of people that can do a lot of things with bots. He's learning a lot of stuff, but he's pretty dang good. Uh, hey, Carlo. Hey, Croth. Croth. I'm going to say your name right one of these days. Sorry, brother. Bit late. Didn't look at the clock. <laughs> How's it going? Are good enough? Did you get that printer? You can do it today. Violent Pooh Blade is talking about you. That's right. Anyways, what I was going to say. So what Blade did yesterday... Um, is he he got it worked out so from the Twitch API we could grab the markers and we're gonna be able to get them in a text format basically we'll be able to put them in like a text file and then we can put that in the YouTube description hopefully automatically eventually the tip jar oh is the tip jar gone I think I can turn it back on there it goes is it there there it is it's back on sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, look at that stuff going flying out. I got to figure out how to make that a little bit different. So if I make it bigger so that like takes up the whole screen, oops, then the, then the jar itself just becomes monstrous. I don't really want that. <laughs> I respond to both, but the second is correct. Okay. How did I say it the second time? Growth? Growth must be growth. I can't get this thing to... Be oh, oh, here we go. Scythium cheered. Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Thank you very much, Scythium. I like that name, by the way. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm just messing with things that I shouldn't be messing with. Get back to where you were. We'll make the tip jar not too terribly large. We'll stick it right there in the corner. Okay. Danny's finally catching one live. I love it when somebody's here catching one live for the first time. That's when we bring out farting unicorns. And Jace, Jace is here too. Fantastic. How's my LED channeling going? It might be up for sale today. It might be. It might be. We are we are that close. We are that close. Not yet. But when it is, it will be on this page. Oh, he's selling a lot of different stuff now. Yep, so it's not quite ready yet, but any day now. Any day now it will be listed for sale. And it's so it's going well. They are they're doing mass production. They started the mass production. All right, Frank cheered 102. Thank you, Frank. Oh, look, and you go to, to drop like a little what is that? Like a little squirrel or something? What is that thing you dropped in there? Where's the squirrel? You want a squirrel? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Kroth, it's going to ship from the U.S. It's going to ship from Utah. So it's going to be, <clears throat> the way we're doing it is they're shipping us like a ton of it. And I'm not kidding. I think it's about a ton. <laughs> they're shipping us a lot um, to here in Utah. Oh, that's what it is, Frank. Is this crazy dude with the hair or something. Whoa. What is that thing? That's cool. <clears throat> Does RGB Man ship to Canada? I hope so. William, I hope so. We're certainly going to try and get it uh, get it to Canada as well. But uh, I don't know what shipping costs to Canada. Um, 
we're trying not to i don't remember how we're doing the shipping i think we're just charging for the shipping so we'll have to um we'll have to we'll have to see what what it costs to ship to canada but i would love to because i know there's people that want it up there so and it shouldn't be too bad it shouldn't be too bad you need it there all right jose william and jose we got it and will okay hey canada it is man we'll get it done We'll get it done. Cost per channel. I, uh, so what it's going to be, oh, I hate to do this and make it and tell you the wrong thing. Um, Cause I can't remember exactly what it was going to be. I'm such a good salesman. Am I not the best salesman ever? Like I don't even know how much my own product costs. <laughs> um, price per channel. I think it's going to be without, without LEDs. There's, so we're starting out with a sale at the beginning, and it's going to be 10 bucks without LEDs for five feet. But I think the normal price is going to be a little more. It's going to be like 1250. But at the beginning here, we're going to sell, we're going to do like a little sale, early sale. So it's 10 bucks without lights. It's uh, 15 with lights. And then normal price will be 1750 with lights or uh, 1250 without lights and it's 20 leds that go in there so you get you know that that's the that's the rgb man led price already it's like 25 cents per light which is which is pretty good there and um i think these are going to be these are going to have the regular connectors they're not going to have the waterproof one because they're not going to be out on your lawn um so but i will make sure to know i'll, I'll make sure to get an announcement as soon as mike puts it up on the site. I know he's going to do it very soon. So, and then what type of lights are those pixels? They're the pixel lights. They're these kinds of lights. These 2811 uh, bullet lights. Because the holes that are in the, the channel is, are made to fit uh, these lights right here. And they're waterproof and stuff, so these are the good ones to use. Um, 40, oh no. Oh, the U.S. the Canada dollar is bad right now. Oh man, oh man. Well, we gotta we gotta get it. Are there any pictures of the channel? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pictures. Yep. Pictures. Pictures. The best place to see the pictures, I think, right now is Facebook. Uh, if we go, actually, I think it's in. Got a post here where I just kind of copied Mike's post. Excuse my sniffles. It's allergy time. Bad today. I can. It's it's brewing out there. Bad. Allergy time. Bad. 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 So I'm gonna be sniffling a lot. It's not Corona. It's just the sniffles. I should probably pin it closer to the top. Oh my goodness. Where did it go now? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh my good grief. Worst salesman ever. Why can I not find it? I, I know I posted it. Maybe somebody took it down. <laughs> They're like, hey, you can't post things for sale here. <laughs> my group oh this thing is awesome is that thing the coolest i need to make one of those look at that that is awesome zao jimmy that thing is so cool man gotta make one of those all right i can't find it doggone thing let's find just rgb man in here he's he's probably posted it yep there it is So, let me see. So, well, that's kind of the idea, but these aren't great pictures of it. That's the idea. I know you had another picture. There's, this is another, this is the drawings of it, but that's basically what it looks like. Let me find you a picture. I can find you a picture here. I could actually even find you a video, I think. Yeah, here's the, here's sort of what they sent us. <laughs> Little video. So this is the channel this is in the factory in China. This is the channeling 
uh, it kind of shapes. It's kind of like a U. It's got these little these little tabs that go out, and then there's a little video of it right here. And then those little, then it's got these little uh, pieces that mount it. That's this piece right here. So that little piece he's got there, that little piece, that you mount to the roof or to the whatever you want to mount it to. You don't even have to mount it to the roof. You can mount it to a wall or something. And then this is 24 gauge galvanized steel. So you can, it's a little flexible, not terribly flexible, but it's a little flexible enough that you can squeeze it, pop it in those little things and let go and it'll stay. So pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. We post way too much on Facebook. <laughs> Don't stop though, Mark. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop on Facebook. Must be springtime. I hear lawnmowers going outside. Oh, my lawnmowers? Maybe. Um, is anyone controlling airfoil on a Mac with home system? I don't know what airfoil is. What's airfoil? What is airfoil? It's brutal. Remember not long ago we were at par. Yeah, that does suck. Four dollars per do per ten. Jeez, what what's going on? Like, I cannot imagine that the U.S. dollar is like strong. We just print money like nothing. I should preface the pricing with a disclaimer. <laughs> so that's what it is. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm actually gonna. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm obviously gonna have to hang some on my house. Uh, my channel is the old stuff, uh, but I think this is a lot better. Website for LEDs for RGB Man. Yeah, I think it's just RGB Man. RGBman.com. We need a bot for him. We need a bot command for RGBman.com, especially since that's going to have the channeling up pretty soon. And then the next, uh, another, another, I guess, announcement. I'm just selling things today. Today's like Salesman Justin Day. I don't like being a salesman. Can you notice that? I don't like, I like making money, but I don't like being a salesman. <laughs> um, Quindor and the Dig Uno boards. Uh, he's going to be sending me a shipment of them to start selling. And they're going to be pretty sure $25 a piece uh, without shipping. And that makes a few dollars for me when I sell them. So we'll be, and I'll be shipping those directly from my house out to wherever. So I would love to try and do Canada. Um, and unless the shipping is crazy then we'll do it we need that too <laughs> yes you do right everybody needs those board those quindor did uno boards they go well with the uh, rgb channeling whoa look at that big long message to air oh link to airfoil oh cool well we can look at airfoil what is airfoil quindor talked to mike about selling for him i don't think so we could i mean i'm just gonna do it um I don't think Mike would mind if we just put it out of his store as well. He'd, we, he'd get a share. What is this airfoil? Ooh. Oh. Any audio everywhere. Stream any audio from your Mac all around your network. Send music services like Spotify or web-based audio like Pandora Wireless to all sorts of devices, including Apple TV, HomePod, Chromecast, Sonos devices, and Bluetooth speakers. You know what I noticed that's not there? Amazon Echo. Is that included? Because this seems awesome. Level up your wireless audio system. But I guess as long as it's... I do have a Chromecast, uh, Chromecast audio that we could use. Computers, phones, tablets, too. Airfoil satellite. Complimentary add-on for Airfoil. Okay, so Airfoil must cost money. How much does Airfoil cost? Free download. Before purchase, noise is overlaid with all transmissions longer than 10 minutes. Okay. Noise like like is it is it like a buzz? Or how much does it cost? Twenty nine dollar. Twenty nine dollar one time. Okay. Well it seems like a pretty cool thing. Aren't echo Bluetooth speakers anyways? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Echoes play most things everywhere, yeah. And you can do an everywhere channel, too. I like the idea. It looks cool. It's a cool interface. Oh, my sniffles. I'm so sorry. 
Holy moly, everything in mine is running at half speed today. Oh no, Blade! No! No! All right. Let's, let's get into the topic of the day, shall we? Let's get into the topic of the day. I think you connect to an Echo using Bluetooth. I'd have to try it and see. Let's start the stream, Doc. Let's do start the stream. We're going to start the stream by making a marker, first of all. And a few of you are mo or, uh, editors now. Marker is going to be um, HA backup to GitHub. Well, this is for posterity. You might as well spell out home system. <laughs> okay, we got a marker. Now we're gonna we gotta get real. We gotta talk about real things. Okay, marker's in. Bum 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 bum. bum. All right, here we go. Backing up your configuration to GitHub. Here's the instructions we're gonna start with. A um, couple things right off the bat. Number one, make sure you're using secrets. <laughs> make sure you're using secrets. Uh, so what I did last night, I went through my configuration files here and I tried to find any place that I might have left a password or any kind of important information. The one place that I did find a couple things was ESP home. Um, and I, so I just made sure that those were all changed to using secrets for passwords. And then I made sure that my secrets file was updated. I still am doing it the, the old dumb way where I actually have a secrets file in my ESP home directory as well. So I've got secrets file in ESP home and then the secrets file in uh, my regular configuration here. There is a way though to not have to do that. ESP home secrets. Uh, if you put in, you, you need, you do need a secrets file in the ESP home folder, but if you have it, if you have secrets in your ESP home, a secrets file in your ESP home folder that just says, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This. Basically, you're just saying your secrets file in ESP home just says include dot dot slash secrets dot yaml so basically that's just saying go back one folder and do your secrets file that way so there you go so you can you can do that but you still need a secrets file in the esp home folder because that's where it's going to look but then you need but in that secrets file you just need it to reference your other secrets file that makes sense is that confusing enough for you <laughs> all right so make a secrets file put all your passwords and stuff in there the next important file is git ignore. So we need a git ignore file and I've got one here. And we can actually, uh, I will solicit comments on this uh, of anything else that you think should be included in the secret inception. That's right. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and give me, give me some uh, comments. What else do you think might need to be included in the git ignore file? And if you don't know what it is, git ignore file is uh, where GitHub will look to see files it should ignore. So when you tell it to update files, uh, it's going to ignore these files. Log files. Okay. So is that anything that's dot log? Hey, buddy. Good morning. How you feeling? Good. Yeah? You're looking less hungry. You happy? You done with homework? You wishing you were in seventh grade? <laughs> the kids got an announcement yesterday. We're squirreling for a second. The kids got an <laughs> announcement yesterday that um, seventh grade and above, they're basically done with school. You know, they 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 don't they they don't have to do any more work unless they want to try and bring up their um, grades. So like Jackson was like, he was a senior in high school. He's like, okay, that's it. I'm done. No more homework for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Please note my file listed above uses config subfolder. Okay, what do you got, Frank? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, here's Frank's. Is this your git ignore file? This is your Frank's git ignore file. Wow. So why does it, why does yours do that, Frank? Uh, is that because you're are you uploading things at a higher level than config?
doing work while watching the stream. <laughs> good. Thanks, Reese. Oh, and we got another. Here's Mark's Get Ignore file. Okay, good. We got some. We got some. Uh, whoa, your guys' is a lot longer than mine. <laughs> Both of you. Okay, that's good. Better to make a long Git Ignore file and ignore more important things. I keep my config in a subfolder. That's not easy to do. Okay, I'm not doing that then. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit late. What's happening? Hey, Sam, we're doing, uh, we're updating. Um, we are backing up my configuration to GitHub finally. Finally. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> my dirty secrets. <laughs> Flaky banana. I got no, I got none. I got none. All right, let's look at Frank's again. So anything that's .vs code, ignore files created by IDEs. Okay. Get keep, specific files to keep. Okay. So you're just having it ignore, so you're specifically having it ignore the ESP home secrets file. Now I was wondering about that. So I guess I, I should do that then because I thought if, since it's called secrets, it would just ignore it, but apparently not. You have to tell it specifically that it's in a different folder, huh? Okay. I'm going to copy that one for sure then. So if you, because I actually do have secrets in my ESP home secrets file still. I just didn't do it the other way. You can, you don't have to. What's the benefit of this opposed to something like auto backup on Google drive? Blair, great question. So the difference between this and backing up on Google drive is Two big things. Number one, your your Google Drive backups are not public. They're just for you. Uh, number two, your Google Drive backups are a backup of everything. So that's taking all of your add-ons and the configurations and, and everything that you need to restore an entire Home Assistant uh, instance, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what's going to be in your in your Google Drive backup. This is just your configuration files. And the reason to do the GitHub is just to share it with other people. It does give you a backup. It gives you, and like it says in the instructions, it gives you a backup and it gives you like a history. So when you make changes, you can easily go back and see what you had changed in the past, right? Because it, it does a very good job of logging changes and in, in history. So, uh, but the main point of the GitHub backup is to share it with somebody else. And, and it's not a complete configuration. It's not a complete backup of everything that you need to restore Home Assistant, but most of it is there. Most of the important stuff's there. And it's likely passworded on the Google backup drive. <laughs> Reese, ignore.yaml. <laughs> that would, that would, wouldn't be much left. Ooh, Ron backs up to NextCloud. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that. You could use directory wildcard to make sure all secrets are ignored, I think. Oh, okay. Prevents everyone from reinventing the wheel. Yeah. I've had a lot of people, and it prevents me from having to, to share things over and over again. Um, I don't mind doing that, but it does, you know, might as well save some time. All right, let's go back. Let's compare again. We're back to comparing. We're comparing mine and Frank's first. We'll do mine and Frank's first. Okay. So he has this dot uh, log. I'm going to do that too. I'm going to put dot log in there. Star dot log. Because there's no reason for, to put that in there. I did do the star dot database. Um, okay, I didn't know there were different ones. And I don't know what PYC is. I'm, I'm doing everything that starts with a dot. So anything that's sort of hidden uh, is there. So I'm going to do that. I don't know what PyCache is. Python cache, I guess. But we'll put that in there. Can't hurt. No reason that anybody needs that. This looks like a Python something as well. So we'll put that in there. I know you're screaming at the TV. If anything, the uh, blade has control of my lamp. So if there's anything you really need to tell me, tell blade and he can, he can fire up my lamp. <laughs> Ooh. All right. And, there, and then there's uh, Ron's, here's Ron's link too, to his next cloud backup. Awesome. I don't even know what next, next cloud is. Oh, okay. Okay. Blade. What do you need? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. What do you need? Just testing. Okay. <laughs> Boy who cried wolf. Oh man. I love doing this. This is so fun. DB S H M and DB wall are needed. Okay. We can do that. We'll take those. Let's 
So because he has, because he's got his uh, in this special conf his fig config in a different folder, we can't necessarily take all of this stuff, but might as well. Might as well take the rest of these cloud and storage and depths. So those are like dependents, dependents. It just ignores that whole folder. That's fine, right? We don't we don't need it. Does it need to do? No, does it need to do this to ignore that whole folder? Look into self-hosting a GitLab repo instead of using GitHub. Okay. Light bulb. <laughs> Doc is going to share the works stuff. No, just depths is fine. Okay. Thank you. Well, I guess my I already have all my dot stuff is already my all my dot stuff is already included in the being ignored, I guess. Which I get which is I guess any of these. So any of these that are oh no, these are a file. You're right. I'm so sorry. So that should be well no dot cloud and dot storage are gonna be ignored, right? Because of this. So dot cloud and dot those will be ignored already. All right. What else we got here? So all of these that are dot config dot something dot something dot something dot something mine are all going to be ignored already. He's got core in there, so we'll ignore that. If you want to go way over on only whitelist items, yes, you can do that too. Paul's got a good point. Instead of doing it this way, this is listing all the ones to ignore. Uh, if you put an exclamation point, those are included. So that will make sure to include get ignore. So if you wanted to just say include just these files, then you can do an exclamation point, whatever, and then you can you can get rid of everything else. Do you start dot conf? Okay. Okay. Start dot conf. Won't start won't dot star ignore everything. It will ignore everything that starts with a dot. It'll ignore everything that starts with a dot. Gary. All right, what else we got here? Home kit. So all these dots are all going to be ignored already. HTML5 push registration dot conf. So if I do this, that's going to ignore that as well. IP bands. I think I already did IP bands. I did known devices. Options XML. Okay. I don't even know if I have an options XML, but can't hurt. Uh, OZW log. I don't think I have that either, but whatever. We'll put it in there. Uh, pretty sure I don't have OZW SQLite, but whatever. That's fine. Put that in there too. Uh, ZWS. Just ZWC. Belt and suspenders. It's for Z-Wave. Oh, okay. Should be star dot pickle. Where's my dot star dot pickle? Oh, thanks. You're right. Good, good point. We want star dot pickle ignored. Who get who got to name that file? I want to shake their hand. That's really awesome. Evening all. How's it going, devil? Think someone will need to get on to help him. You think so? No, oh, maybe. We'll see. Probably true. Okay, we definitely want to ignore secrets.yaml. We did that. Now, and he's ignoring everything in ESP Home, basically. Right? Aircast, Air Sonos, Netbooks. I don't have any of those. Uh, ignore files created by IDEs. Okay. Just grab all those. I did it before. I just did it wrong. Well, I didn't do it wrong. I did it correctly. But I did it uh, with secrets included. <laughs> You're not ignoring everything in ESP Home? Oh, okay. What's this doing? Oh my gosh, I need like a Kleenex bad. You, I want that line? Okay. <laughs> there is a way to do that, Stove Doctor. We're getting there. It's ignoring all the subfolders. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. So we'll do this. Oh, because all the subfolders in ESP Home has, they have all the, um, yeah, ESP Home, like all the comp uh, compiled 
files are in there, right? Like the, the .ino files and the .bin files and stuff are all there. So I guess you would you could have secrets in there or something. Okay, I can dig it. Hey, Ricardo, how's it going? But not the contents of ESP Home itself. Gotcha. JSON files and stuff. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Anything else? I think I got everything out of Frank's. Did I miss anything? Let's look at Mark's real quick, too. Mark's, Mark sent his over. We'll see whatever he's got. Doc PID. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> PID is a medical thing. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blade, I think we can do that. Um we could do a we could do a text to speech uh webhook to she who shall uh, to Betty. We'll call her Betty. I like Betty. Um but there's also just in um in in the Twitch chat, there's a way to do text to speech as well. Process ID. Uh it's also pelvic inflammatory disease. <laughs> Or otherwise known as pus in dare. <laughs> uh oh, R Ricardo says, has anyone had problems with Plex State since 108? Not I. You give me the web hook and I'll set it up. All right, brother. We'll get there. We'll do it. Uh, it is written to a file for running a process and can be used with the kill command. Okay, a lot of mine are very specific. I just go with Frank's list. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Then we can look at anything else. Um, I got most of these cut config keys i don't think i have dot key let's let's do dot key just in case i'm also trying to plan for you know i'm putting things in there that i'm not using now but that i might use someday and not realize that it has a secret included or has some kind of important information proportional integral derivative ooh that sounds better than pelvic inflammatory disease <laughs> Blade's trying to take over the channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Z's. I can't do that. <laughs> SSL? Oh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know what that would do, but all right. Put it in there. I'd rather have more in there than not. Am I late? No. Any happy Ramadan to those celebrating this month? Oh, cool. Farhan, thank you. And to you too. Are all with multiplayers? Oh, wait, sorry. Are all certificate related files? Oh, okay. So let's make sure we get those. We don't want to get rid of, we don't want any certificates out there. I need to like alphabetize this list. Does, does, uh, I bet, uh, Visual Studio can do an alphabetized list, right? Just say the word. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh, Farhan took his message. Yeah, CTR. Yep, got that one. Okay, pickle cloud storage. Did we already get storage? Oh, does Visual Studio Code have an alphabetize option? Yes, we're about to get full access. How's it going, Rob? Yes, I'm about to send all of my secrets to the internet for everybody's use. I can't wait to see my lights going on and off like crazy. There's uh, one thing that I think I'll do tonight <clears throat> or that I'll do maybe before this stream is over also is uh, I've got a light in our master bedroom that is misbehaving and I don't exactly know why. So I'm going to try and track down why it's turning on in the middle of the night when it shouldn't. So there'll be a couple things. I'll just, it shouldn't take very long to just try and troubleshoot why, and then we'll see if it works. My house is going to be haunted. Remove the first line from my get ignore. Oh, Reese, which one? Secrets that you have? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> uh, low battery. Okay, where else we at? Anything else in here? Playlister UUID. Uh, well, that starts with a dot, so everything that starts with a dot will be ignored. Home is the log, home list, the home is the database. I got all the logs and all the databases are going to be gone. My new keyboard is in quarantine in the front porch. Arrived today. Nice. Remember last time? Yep. You did such a good job keeping your secrets out. Then you had some file called config backup with everything in it. Yep. I do remember that. 
That's why I went through last night, Rob. I went through last night and I tried to find, I, I went through everything and tried to find anything that might be like that. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to try, we're going to go through this again and make sure. So all this stuff that starts with a dot, that's all going to get ignored. So that's fine. All my pickles. And actually I put anything that starts with Betty Media, I told it to also ignore. Okay. So Betty Media is ignored. Automations we want to include, binary, config, customize. And probably, you know, a very, a very decent way to do it, a good way to do it would be just to include the ones you want. But that's going to be a little trickier with packages because now with if you do packages and you've got it all divided up into a thousand different files, you know, that's going to be a little different. So a little harder to do it just as includes instead of excludes. Uh, I did take out my calendars. Groups are fine. The logs. That's just, I don't know why that's there. Uh, that's a database is going to be gone. Home panel config. I don't see why that can't be there. I guess it doesn't really matter. You could get rid of all the JSON. Does anybody do I have? Do, is there any reason to need .json files in there? SH files are scripts. Used to have a script that would search all files for anything, and I defined in secrets in case anything snuck through. Useful for an idiot check, but wasn't a full solution. Shell scripts .json. Uh, let's do dot, Let's do .json. Yeah, I don't think I do have that uh, as one of my excludes. So let's do that. Okay, what else? Uh, anything else here? Calendars, database, JSON. We're going to need that. We're going to get rid of any pickles, panels, fine, and those other YAMLs. And that's all. That's all that's in there. We can go, we can look in some of these subfolders. There's nothing, I don't think, in the www folder that should be too. Like audio. This is just one, so I put a file in there, nothing there. This is tedious, right? Like going through and checking all this stuff can be kind of tedious. Community folder, so that's just Lovelace stuff or, or community, uh, like hacks, community store add-on things that need to be in there. Custom UI, custom Lovelace. What's in this GitHub? Oh, this is more custom card stuff. Images, <clears throat> countdown dates. Dates. Lovely countdown dates.js. I guess it could ignore all the .js files too. You don't need any of those. I don't think there would be anything in any of those, but and there's no reason to, oops. There's no reason to bring those in, right? Don't commit the secrets file, right? Secrets file is numero uno on the git ignore list. Oh, market is private before. Very tedious. Just publish your secrets and then be done with it. <laughs> I have star.key. Thank you, Gary. I did do star.key right there. Sorry for the sniffles. I'm just going to keep sniffling. I am going to include my fan gifts because everybody likes my fan gifts. <laughs> uh, you don't need any of those. JPEGs will be there. Yeah, all the rest of this WWW stuff is no biggie deal. You can have it all. Text to speech stuff you can have. Temp, there's nothing even in there. Themes you can have. There's nothing in the themes. Packages. There's nothing in packages. This is all scrubbed already. This is all referring back to secrets. So there shouldn't be anything in any of these. So we should be pretty good with packages. Notebooks. What's in notebooks? I guess there's nothing. There's no reason anybody would need notebooks. Right? So should I just get rid of that folder? I think that was on Frank's list, wasn't it? Notebooks was on Frank's list. So just if I just do notebooks, that'll ignore that whole folder. Is that what that does? Ignore notebooks? Yeah. We're getting the dancing squirrel. Yeah, the dancing squirrel file will be in there. I was actually thinking about it today as I was watching the intro roll. I need to uh, make that update and change it so that the intro, instead of being that, that thing I've had for a while that says, you know, stream starting soon or whatever, it's just going to be the dancing squirrel. Shouldn't be anything in these. <laughs> yeah, that's the place to look. 
<laughs> don't want to share things that don't need to be shared. Squirrel. <laughs> okay. Where were we? We're here. Node red. Now, that's interesting. What about node red? Uh, I, I think we want to share those files, right? Because people will want to be able to copy flows. Is there secrets or are there important things in node red somewhere that we need to, we need to, uh, scrub? No, node red is pretty, pretty clean. Did someone say node red? Don't share the node red folder. Okay. My Nabucasa in there? It might be. I don't know for sure what's... I see, I don't know what's in there, so that's a good point. Is it too early to put the Christmas lights up? No way! Dude, no way, Bobby. Put them up, brother. Put them up and leave them up. I think the Node Red stuff is obfuscated by the add-on. Oh, okay. Ignore Node Red for now. You can maybe always add it later. Did someone say Node Red? So Rob says Node Red is pretty pretty scrubbed clean. Mark says just ignore it. We need a tiebreaker vote. <laughs> How's it going? Smith Clay is going so good. Sounds dangerous, Flow Cred. Do it. Seeing locations and stuff stored in JSON would not share it. Okay. So we'll just we'll just not share the node red folder. Okay. It's not like I have much in there anyways. I think we'll probably want to share some node red stuff, right? Working on Halloween and Christmas decorations now. Go lights right on, Jim. Right on. Does anybody, uh, so I didn't see, now Frank, I don't know that Frank uses Node Red. Mark, you, in your, in your stuff, did you list Node Red as something you ignore? Hey, baby. <laughs> you stinker, you stealer. After my folders and the Git ignores, it does matter. Nice, thank you, sir, good enough. Wasn't using Node Red at the time. So your Node Red folder is being shared. So there you go. If you want Mark's secrets. I know I don't have any candy in there, huh? What are we gonna do about that? Oh, your thing is like all healed almost. Good job. All right, Bobby, Charlotte, 1980 just subscribed. Let's do something fun for him. What are you doing? You just want more kids? I'm just looking at Jackson's pictures. Oh. <laughs> Node Red is in another machine. So it's not there, okay. Did I ignore HomeKit? Uh, if it starts with a dot, it's ignored. But uh, no, I don't think I ignored star dot HomeKit. But I can. What? What, baby? Okay. I was just... Oh, Holly's going with her teacher? Don't do that. Love you. Wee. All right. Where else were we here? So Node Red. That was one we weren't sure about. Network. My network. I have a my network file. I should probably ignore that. Don't know what's in there. Hasp examples, nothing's in there. Glances, I can't imagine there's anything in there. Well, it's a .conf anyway, so it's gonna ignore that. ESP home we went through, depths we'd ignored. Custom components, shouldn't be anything in there that matters to me. Uh, stuff like this. Yeah, none of that should have any, I say should, shouldn't have any information in it that you really need. Run the init git add, get status ignore the full network file folder oh so just the whole network folder 
Did I already? Oh, did I already do that? Okay, I'll just ignore the whole folder. I think that'll ignore the whole folder. What do you think? How do you make sure you don't check the contents while being live? Living on the edge, brother. Just living on the edge. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't make sure. I'm working without a net, man. Ugh. Yeah, how do I sort them? There's got to be a sort in here, right? Just to, just, uh. under view I want to alphabetize them pull it into a word processor and then put it back no way really use git status ignored first to check that you've excluded the files you think you have okay hey binu we're we're putting my uh, configuration on github finally i cannot believe that vs code does not have an alphabetize a list option oh yes thank you i'll have it in a little while i'll come down and need it when we're done okay thank you baby password may or may not be revealed how's it going joe sort ascending command palette i don't see command palette Where is it? Control P sort. Okay. Thank you. Control P and then sort. No matching results. <laughs> that didn't work. Control Shift P to get the command palette. Control Shift P. And now I can do sort, sort ascending. Oh, except I didn't have it selected. Control shift P, sort ascending. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect, perfect, okay. I think we're ready. What do you guys think? Anything else? I want to give it a go. I'm tired of alphabetizing files. Let's do something fun. Now you can un... <laughs> I did look eventually. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's go to this thing and do the next step. Oh, that's ESP Home. That's not the one. This is some... Oh, this is the backup from... Next cloud, okay. Here we go, here we go. So I need to do this, huh? No, I don't need to do this. This is already done if you're doing Home Assistant, right? This isn't required for Hassio, okay. Creating, get ignore, we just did that. We just did get ignore. Step three, preparing your Home Assistant directory for GitHub. In your Home Assistant directory, type the following commands. So I have to go to the command line to do this, right? Is there a good way to do a GUI based thermostat schedule similar to Nest and such yet? I uh, don't think so. You can do it. I mean, the Home Assistant has a Home Assistant has a climate GitHub thing or GitHub has a climate um, card. So, I mean, that's how I do it. You can adjust it right there, or you can adjust it right here. Tell it what to do. So then if that shows up on your tablet or your phone, you adjust it that way. So, is that what you mean? Oh, I don't even have Discord open. People are probably sending me messages in Discord. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, oh, oh man. Do I have some messages? People are yelling at me in Discord. Open Proxmox to get to the command line. So is it live yet? Hey, so this is the part that I'm on. 
I'm on this command line part. So where do I want to run this from? Do I want to run this from the VS Code command line? Or do I want to go into, um, do I want to go in and run it in the uh, Proxmox command line? Mm, 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 mm. Reese says go to the Proxmox. What did you do with your MariaDB password in the recorder YAML? I don't know. Where do I, where's that, sir, good enough? Be at Proxmox, okay. So good enough. Tell me where that file is. I didn't see it. I don't know where it is. SSH add-on is easiest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, I got it in Proxmox. So as long as you get to the command line, I suppose. Did you guys get that one? <laughs> There's a recorder. I'm pretty sure it's in my secrets. Oh, you mean it's in the recorder? Oh, yeah, no, it's in my secrets. I'm sure I put it in the secrets. We can look at it. Let's look at it. You're saying it's under the recorder section here. I still haven't broke out my sensors and my switches and my Viter sensors. Oh, actually, I think I have a recorder file. See, there we go again. I could have found it already if it was in my, if it was all on the living room floor, my configuration file. Now I got to go sorting through packages. Yeah, recorder. Here it is, MariaDB password ready. I don't know what this is. This is the URL. Has this got something important that I need? <laughs> is this should I have this uh, deep database URL as, as in my secrets? So the string for the database has the password in it. That's your password. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's move this over. Whoop. What's my password right there at the beginning? <laughs> so you got a nice long look at that. <laughs> Okay, let's put that in the path. Let's put that in. Oh, good grief. Copy that. Uh, I kind of thought that might happen. And now what I got to do is open secrets and not open secrets. You know what I mean? Open secrets without opening secrets, you know? So if you're using MariaDB, make sure that your password or make sure that your URL is in your... All right, now go here. And then I'll have to change that now. Oh boy. Frank, thanks Frank, cheered one bit, bing. Oh, don't fall out of the cup, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> It made it. Okay, save that. And save that. All right, now I got it. Closing secrets, bringing this back over here. So that's what it should look like. <laughs> so if you're using MariaDB in your recorder section, make sure that you've used secrets for your URL. Not like me. What does your Proxmox server run on hardware-wise? A, a nook, exclamation point nook. Did someone say secrets? Yeah, Blade, I just gave my MariaDB password away. All right, let's do this. I want to get to the business of the business here. Let's do the hard part. Actually, that probably is the hard part. So we're going to go to Hass.io, and we're going to run a... We're going to start the uh, console, right? Like that. <laughs> now, don't worry, it's recorded. It'll be there forever. <laughs> you can go back and watch it. 
seriously what I do now. Don't use that console. Okay. Never mind. Which one? Tell me which one. Yeah, all the streams are recorded. The SSH? SSH add-on or VS Code. Oh, I thought we said don't use VS Code. Okay. Let's go to the VS Code. I think my SSH add-on is still up and running. I'm not sure. Yeah, it needs to be updated. Let's just go to VS Code. Make sure it doesn't pop open the secrets file right off the bat because you never know what the last one was in there. All right, it's just my configuration. No biggie. No biggie. I understand. So right here in this terminal, I can do these commands. The VS Code add-on work. Can the TP-Link Tapo P100 be flashed? Miss Chariot bought three from Amazon. Uh-oh. TP-Link Tapo P100. Um, I don't know. Look, uh, You can look and see on the uh, Tasmoda repo if it's listed as one of the devices there. I don't know what chip it runs on. My guess is yes. Most of them probably are ESP8266 based. Connecting now. What? Why do this? Why does it do this? It doesn't like secret tags. That would be a dis yeah, that'd be a really good question for Travis. He pretty much knows what everything that's everything that's flashable. Okay. So down here in the console, now we can get back to this business. Oh man, my nose is driving me nuts. <laughs> Golly, Wally. Allergies, allergies. Okay. What froze? The stream? It's my stream froze face. <laughs> Thank you, Father Time. Thank you. All right, here we go. In your home assistant directory, type the following commands as a home assistant user, replace the email address and name with your information. Why does it keep doing this? It did freeze. It doesn't like it. I want to use this one. Oh, oh, everything's freaking out. Home system just freaked out. My lights just went off. Yep, home system just had a major seizure. Yep. Ran out of memory. <laughs> Maybe. I'm in the dark. All right. Bet you if we go here, it's probably not even going to open. Oh, yeah, it is. Might be rebooting everything. Eight gigabytes. Oh, look at that. All right. All right. So the SSH add on it is. Are you sure you want to back up this state of home system? Of course I do. So the web based terminal by SSH add on is the light alternative. Okay. I've never, I never used it. I don't have had an SSH in there for a long time. Stop folding. Protection mode is disabled. Oh, it's not even started. Oh. My nose drives me crazy. 
still scrolling all those hidden errors in the background. Yeah, probably true. It's first time live. All right. Player recorded streams in the background while I work. Oh, thank you, Jay. Well, hey, would you like unicorns or planes, sir? Unicorns or planes? I didn't run out of RAM. I've got 32 or whatever, 30 something gigabytes of RAM. It's the messy ones that need back in. Unicorn, you got it, buddy. All right, now I can open this web UI. There we go. Ba, ba, ba. He wants trains. Father Time wants trains. <laughs> and I still know I still have not updated the whistle. I might have to do a different one and put the whistles in there. CD into the config. I don't even know what's like, what's here. Okay, so CD into the config. All right, now we're in the config. We should have two windows here. We need one over here. And then we need the instructions over here. How's that third monitor blade? I think I need a third. Okay. Now run the commands. Okay. Thank you, Ikafar. Here we go. Get config user dot email and then put my email in there. Okay. Here we go. I can't just copy it. Oh, okay. Nope. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yep, there we go. Some of it anyways. Okay. Oh, I missed get init. Sorry. Thanks. I thought I already did that. I guess I didn't. Okay. Step number one, get init. Initialized. Empty. Get repository. Get master. Ooh, okay. So at this point, I put the next line in there. Does anyone know which stream provided data on max length of LED wire? Uh, I, I think that was one I did end up chopping up. Look for one that's chopped up. Looks for one that's chopped up, crazy, uh, crow crazy. Because there, there, there is one that has a yellow. So I have a yellow bar next to it. And it'll say something about LEDs. Okay, and then my email. I don't need my password, huh? Okay. Mmm, chili Doritos. That sounds yummy. Maybe we should go have Taco Bell today. Anthony from Athens, Greece. How's it going, Anthony? Your videos help me set up past server for a three-story building. No sweat. Less than a week. Thanks, man. You are so welcome. Woohoo! Let's celebrate with a fat unicorn. <laughs> That's because. <laughs> and then my username. Oh, I'm trying to do my mouse keys, and it doesn't always work. I do have mouse keys set up for this, but it doesn't always work. Sniper Kane from Halo Days. <laughs> Uh-oh. Didn't like that. Huh. Uh-oh. Why is that a problem? Is my is that not the correct username? Good old Halo. Pretty sure that's my... Did I miss the get? Oh, I missed get. I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. It's got to say get first. Oh, yeah, yay. Oh, yeah, yay. Thank you. Get is the command. If there's no get, it doesn't work. All right. And then we're going to go get... 
add dot. Okay. Here it goes. Quake. I remember Quake. Quake 3. Quake 3 was a lot of fun. We used to play that in my, uh, when I was working for the electrical engineer. <laughs> Commit. Okay, this is it. Hold on now. Okay, I'm not doing it yet. What do we do? Is there a way to check first? Oh, get commit message. Shorter. Oh. Okay. Replace message with whatever you like. Oh, does that do some sort of a title or something? Get status will show you the files that were added. Okay, let's do get status and let's just see that first. Whoa, sweet. So that shows everything that's getting added. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Though for those of you that want the squirrel, the dancing squirrel, it's right there. Dancing squirrel test 001 MP4. <laughs> Ready for all the passwords I forgot? Just tuning in. Oh, Mark, you're just in time. This is going to be so awesome. Saw the live stream two days ago and saw you have a webhook up and running. Very cool. It is very cool. If you run git commit, you will give a editor adding a message. We'll just do it without and use the message as the final. Okay. Yeah, just upload it. If your light changes, it means I screwed up. That's right, Blair. Add dot will add all the files in your folder. Okay, so that's what it did. It add dot added all the files in the folder. Is this the time for the big leak? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So 442 files were added. Okay. I'm going to get back down here to the command line. We're going to do Frank's get message. Right there. Thank you, Paul. I'll put it in there as well. First one I scrolled up to. So now we're going to do, oops, you can't see it. It's down there at the bottom. Um, get it in a place where it can be seen, silly. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to do git commit slash, or what is that, dash m, and then my description. So we'll just call this Dr. Z's home assistant config share. Okay, what do you see? We ready? This is gonna be it. Have to page in Discord. Oh, is it not working here? Ignore the text to speech folder. Uh, I think that text to speech folder stopped updating. I mean, I don't care. If people want those messages, they can have them. But it doesn't need to be there. You're right. Did you show the second print of the face mask? It's right here. It's actually, it's better. And here's the deal. <laughs> print of the face mask. This, uh, this part, in when I did the vase, this part wouldn't fit. So this part is where you put the filter, and then it fits. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to page? You ready to page if I need if I need it? <laughs> it's way too much to upload the entire folder. You think so? Okay, so if I don't want to commit it yet, then I need to update my ignore and do it and do this again. Do I need to update my ignore and do the get again? Oh, hey, Andrisk. How's it going? You don't have permissions to send messages. You, you don't have permission to send messages directly to me. You can still put messages in the... Uh, you should still be able to put messages in the group thing. <laughs> what you're doing only adds the local files to your version of the control system. You need to push it. Okay, so I still have it. So I can still change it. If you want to update the ignore, then git reset 
and then get add again. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's ignore the text to speech folder. That's, that's fine. So get reset if we wanted to make a change. So we're going to do get reset. Now we're going to go into, uh, now we're going to go into our get ignore and we're going to add the text to speech. All right. What's going on here? Yeah, there is a lawnmower outside too. Can you hear that? Get ignore. Oh, it opened it up in notepad. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to put it, uh, if I just do TTS, that'll ignore that whole folder, right? And now we can just try it again. We'll just do the get add again, right? We'll just do get add again. And then we can do, which was the one that showed us everything, status. And now we can scroll back up here and just see if it ignored get add. Or get, not get add, if it ignored text to speech. There's still a lot of stuff it doesn't need. Yeah, okay, no more text to speech. So that worked. What about this custom components? Do I really need all that? And that's just like, that's just loading stuff up on GitHub that, it's already there someplace else. Nobody needs that for me, right? Says, I know what your wife feels like. <laughs> it's on the get ignore. Uh -huh. Do I need app daemon? App daemon has my HA dashboard stuff in it. So I don't, I don't know if I need to get rid of that. You can't go back after committing. If it's there, it's there. Yeah. And I haven't committed yet. So we're still good. Once you commit, you're committed. That's why it says committed. <laughs> but we're not there yet. We haven't committed. We have not committed. So let's, uh, let's go back. I want to, I want to add something else. Is there a recent? Here's recents. Open recents. Oh, why is it not? Secrets is there. Recorder is there. Get ignored. Let's go back here to get ignore and let's ignore, let's also ignore the, um, I don't want to ignore those. I want to ignore custom components. I don't think we need custom components. So we're going to ignore custom components. Does anybody have an argument with that about why we should? App daemon includes tokens. Oh, okay. So let's ignore app daemon then too. Custom components. Okay, that should work. And then app daemon, huh? I thought he was going to click secrets. <laughs> you wish, Alex. You wish, buddy. I know what your wife feels like. Uh, okay, so we're going to ignore custom components. And then, and then I guess we should ignore app daemon. The problem with ignoring app daemon, does it, does it have tokens? I thought, oh, you know what I did? I took out, I took those out. I took out, there was, there were cameras. We can look in there and see. Now that you're back in VS code, you can see the 500 changes pending in Git. Is that what that is? <laughs> um, so thinking about app daemon because I do want my I do want my HA dashboard panel file in there um but I I, I went in app daemon dot yaml didn't have anything we can open those and look at them do I still use app daemon I don't yeah, I, so do I, Alex. I need to learn how to use VS Code properly, too. I don't use it properly, I'm sure. I don't use it to its full potential, I guess. I don't exactly misuse it. I just don't use it correctly. It's not abused. It's just not appropriately used. Totally makes sense. Um, 
if we go to if we go to the app daemon because I I went through app daemon last night and it, and ignore for now and then later drill down and clean it out. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's a good idea. Let's do that. I, I don't think it's very the the file that I use from app daemon I already uploaded a long time ago, so it's okay. So we'll just we'll just ignore app daemon as well. world's slowest typer we had a fun discussion with my other doctor friends the other day about our handwriting and our spelling <laughs> and our hand, the reason our handwriting is so bad is because our spelling is so bad that's my excuse at least for having a bad bad spelling okay so that will ignore app daemon as well so now we'll go back here and let's do the reset again and then we're going to do the add again and then we're going to do the status again now we're going to look at all these files again, and we're going to see all the stuff from the www folders there. Man, why is it getting bigger every time? Isn't it? Like, I thought it said 400 the first time, and then it said, oh, is it because, the, no? And then it said 900. Now it says 1,200. What's, what's happening here? Why is that doing that? And pushes and make the change to your configurator will be much easier from VS Code. <clears throat> Get commits and pushes. All right, well, how do we do it? I thought I did get reset. Did I not? And then add. And then status. Now there's 1,500 lines. Like every time I do that, I'm terrible at spelling. <laughs> I'm a horrible speller, S-P-E-L-O-R. Have to run. All right, see you later, Frank. Thanks for your help today, buddy. Appreciate it. Every time I do it, it adds another 400. The line is history of terminals, not the command is. Oh, okay, great. Okay, thank you, Frank. That's just terminal lines. Okay, well, let's do it here, and then I would like to do it in VS Code. So uh, whoever has been saying, a couple of you guys have said, uh, Ronald, well, let's, well, let's do it, and then we'll go back here, and we'll do it there, and we'll, that way we do it both ways. All right, so I think I'm ready. Do you guys see anything else in here that looks like it would be potentially damaging? See? So secrets is definitely skipped. And we can look through ESP home and we can make sure that my ESP home secrets file is not here. And it is not because it would be ESP home slash secrets and it is not there. And I already scrubbed all these YAML files of secrets. And now app daemon is not there, and all that custom component stuff is not there. So I think it looks pretty good. You think it looks pretty good? You forgot some of your secrets file for safekeeping. <laughs> Blade has a bot that copies all my secrets. He's got a... Uh... Wait, you forgot to remove secrets.yaml. Reese, I'm watching you. I am watching you. <laughs> for my get ignore. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta watch. I gotta watch you guys. Before you execute in a command line, you can also check in VS Code. Okay, Graham, how do I do that? Is that here? So this is what is going to be committed to um, GitHub right here, correct? So these are the files. The same list of files that that are here are here, and that's because I've got the Git add-on for VS Code, correct? What's in the sh file? Where is it? Where's the sh file? Yes, that's basically the same as the git status. Okay, good. Okay, I'm understanding something new here. In the main config folder, let's look at it and see, and we should probably just add it to the ignore list. There's just an sh file. I don't see it. Git status grep sh. What will that do? Now I really have to go. <laughs> 
oh, oh, that deploy has, oh, that's okay. I see it. Yeah. That file is just, uh, we could ignore it or it could stay. It's a, it's for the HA switch plates. So if you use HA switch plates, um, uh, that's a script or a shell command, I guess that, uh, initiates them. So it deploys them. So that's okay. Thank you, Sebastian. Yeah. Somebody else pointed that out. Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Deploy the H A S P that's for the home assistant switch place. So that can stay. It doesn't have to stay, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have any secrets. Nope. It's just a file you download and run. Um, so it can be ignored. It can, it can stay. It doesn't matter. Shell commands are very leaky. We can ignore it. We can add it to this. Um, actually did we, well, let's just do this. Let's just do ignore any shell commands. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We can always, if somebody says, Hey, I didn't have your shell command. We can come back and do it. Later. How about that? You guys like that? So to the get ignore, we'll just add star.sh. What do you say? Sound good? Now it's done. So now we're gonna do this again. Ooh, let's just, how do you do it here? I don't want to commit yet. Toggle view, view history, refresh, more actions. So do this, does this have a, like the reset and stuff? What are the commands you would use here, Ronald, or somebody else? How about themes? Uh, I'll leave themes just in case I ever put a custom theme in there. All right, we're going to reset it again. We're going to do the dot add again, or the add dot again. And then we're going to do the status again. And we're going to refresh the status page over here. Oh, well, also in VS Code. Too many secrets. <laughs> Unstage all changes then start to stage. So staging is what it is. So, okay, okay, I got, sta so stage is what you put on there, right? So if I, so commit staged would be taking everything up there. Okay, stage all changes, discard all changes, unstage all changes. Okay, so that's kind of doing what this is. Unstage all changes in VS Code. So that's the same as reset. So unstage all changes here. Will that get rid of this whole list? Uh -oh. I messed something up. Better to start safe and add once. It's there, it's there. Sneakers, the movie. <laughs> zappy, zap, zap. Unstage all change. Then start to stage. I wonder why that gave me that. What's that about? See that? I don't know. Is that because I already did this? You can switch list views of source control in VS Code to tree view. So you see changes the way you're used to seeing files listed. Change this to tree. Toggle view mode like that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. That's better. Yes, unstage equals reset. I'll say this. How's it going? All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to commit. I am ready to commit. So if I... Let's not mix the upload process. Half ES code. Yeah, I concur. I concur. Let's do it all here. Let's do it all here. We're going to reset it again. We're going to do the add. We don't need the status, but there it is. And now I think we're ready to commit. <clears throat> I'm committed. There it is. Get commit. That's it. Okay, this is it. It'll work or it'll explode. <laughs> it'll work or it'll leak all my, probably due to the shared folder. Oh, okay. Sort your config ascending again. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Am I finally ready to settle down? Real secrets in three, two, one.
Boom. Okay, it's uploading. And away she goes. Oh, my M message. Son of a beast. Too late. Because I reset my commit my M message. Dang it. So now what's it going to do? And there's no way to stop this. This is still local till the next step. Read the screen asking for a message. Is it asking for a message? Please enter commit message. Oh, okay. So now I can put my message in. That was all. That's it. Oh, not a big deal. I didn't see that. Why, where does it want me to put it though? Can't seem to type in this window. Please enter the commit message for your changes. Line starting with that will be ignored. Oh, okay. So it's... Oh. Is this an editor? Oh. Oh, dear. Just start typing at the top. Okay. everybody breaking their mirrors now okay why does it not let me type though it's not letting me type hit I that's <laughs> VIM what the can be I am. You're in the Git editor. <sighs> Why is this so hard? Oh, is it down here? There we go. Okay. Jeez. So you have to press I. So do the message thing. Way better than this. I for insert. Oh, lame. Lame. Okay. Dr. Z's home. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I would have never known that. Okay, we ready now. Thank you, Unix. <laughs> Otherwise, control C and then redo with the message. Okay, well, I think I got it now. So, and then how do I, I'm gonna need to get out of this, right? When you're done, hit escape to exit, in, to exit insert mode and then type WQ to write and quit. Okay, escape and then colon, W Q. That was lame. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for walking me through that. That would have been really impossible. That would have been really impossible, but you all know how to do it. Why you guys watch me do this stuff? I guess it's just fun. <laughs> now we're ready to push. Ah, push it. Okay. So I thought commit would do it, but commit didn't do it. Oh, and this tells you what to do right here. If I'd have read it. It is fun. Good. <laughs> All right. After git command, we asked to enter a message for the commit. We did that. Initial comment. We did that. Creating repository on GitHub. Connect to GitHub. Oh, what? Now I need step four. Oh, okay. Connect to GitHub and log into your account. Create an account if you didn't already have one. Click new repository and give your repository a name. Uh... You do not need to change any other options. Click create repository. All right, so we're gonna open up GitHub. I do this daily, I'm a dev. I'm helping you help the rest of us. Thank you very much, Graham. VIM is complicated. Okay, so first I actually need to make a new repository, huh? New. Oh, 
Oh, probably no capitals. Just cuz. Now we're going to have the secrets as a text file on GitHub. Okay, make it public, description. Initialize this repository with readme, sure. Oh, skip if you're importing, I don't know, whatever. Okay, ready? All right, if you've done this kind of thing before, which I have not. Oh, we did this. Git commit, now we just push. Git remote add origins, and then git push origin master. Is that right? Why sniper cane and not Dr. Z's? Just because it was, make it private first? Yeah, public it is. I could make it private first, but I'm not gonna. Uh, okay. Now we need to do this. Once you're sure you're using secrets and getting ignored correctly, it's time to push your configuration to GitHub repository you created. In your home assistant directory, type the following commands as home assistant user, replace username with the URL with your GitHub username. And so I just need to put, it tells me what to put right here, right? I can just take this. So I can copy this. And then I just need to do git remote add origin and then put that in, right? Get remote add origin. Did I do that right? Get remote add origin and then paste that in. How's that look? No, why does Ron say no? Read down further to the, oh, sorry. Copy paste from the GitHub instruction. It has the command already. Well, it has the command already, but then but I named it something different, right? So mine is home underscore assistant underscore comp config dot git, right? So this should do it. This looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? How's that look? Get remote add origin this. Yeah, I did. I got it. It's right here. Okay. I think it looks fine. I think it's just the delay. You guys were watching me almost do something wrong. Not dot get. Okay. Thank you. Huh? GitHub gives you the exact commands. Oh, it does. <laughs> there it is. Right here. And it did include dot .git. Okay. So. That's awesome. GitHub does give you the exact commands. Surprise. It's all there if you just read the documents. So this is the things we already did. Oh. Add. Yeah, it's almost the same. We've already done some of those. We're going to do this part. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's do it. And now, git push underscore u origin master. Anybody see a problem with that? Yeah, I already did some of those parts, right? Here we go. Here it goes. Username. 
Is it going to ask me for my password? Because I'm not sure I know it. Get you, go on, get. <laughs> it will ask me for my password. Okay. Let's find it. <laughs> All right. Well, the good news is it is long and complicated. Okay. So I got to move this over here. It's probably not going to show it right, but I'm going to move it anyways. I know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great to do all this and then at the very end, just give you my GitHub password? That would make tons of sense. An old Git uses Git. This is a really complicated password. This is obviously one that was set up by 1Password, not by me. Oh, it doesn't show it. Oh, crap. So then I don't know where I'm at. Oh, I did it. Okay. I got the, I must've got the password right. So it doesn't show your password. So if you're streaming, when you do this, go ahead and type your password in. Nobody's going to see it. Behind the app. Fail. Except I don't think we failed yet. We failed at some other things. Use the SSH link. All right. That was great. All right, assuming the best. Started already, and it's there. Oh, is that it? It's done. Okay, let's go look at it. That wouldn't take very long. Let's go look at Sniper Kane's home system config. <gasps> there it is, look, it's all here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You can go to automations. Oh, garage. Oh, yeah. Janice, Fob, YAML. Oh, it's all here. It's all here. It's all here. Packages, boxes and bags, integrations, input select. It's all here. Yay. All right, now. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to now go through there and try and find some secrets. And if you do, please let me know. <laughs> and right there, secrets.yaml, right on top. Better not be. Better not be. Oops. <laughs> Son of a gun secrets right there. Shoot. Dag nabbit. Boxes and bags. Packages. Every time we say packages, I hear the Grinch. Pa packages, boxes, or bags. <laughs> All right, we did it. Yay. Thanks for your help, everybody. That was awesome. Um, just uh, if secrets are found, more devices will be turning up than just the desk lamp. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then a link to all this funness for everybody is right there. So for all of you who say, have you shared your config? Yes. Yes, I have. Thanks to you guys for your help. Could not have done it. It would not have been as smooth without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The last thing, oh, so let's put another marker. Gosh, that was a lot of good that marker did. <laughs> we'll have to go back through and do other markers. Um, we'll switch my castle on. That's cool. The castle is the lights in the backyard or the, you know, the lights on the playhouse. So you could do that if you want. Marker, and then I'm going to do this. Um, Ghost switch. 
ghost switch fix. All right, so I put another marker in the stream. And the reason is uh, we've got this switch that is misbehaving. So we're gonna go into Home Assistant real quick. And we're gonna look at that switch. We're gonna go to Entities. I've not done this before. So this will be a little bit of a, I think I know what will work. The master crown lights, this sucker right here is giving me grief. So I'm gonna look at everything that's related. So it's part of this Mrs. Z's, that's an HA switch plate, which is not connected. So that should be fine. Part of the following scenes, bedtime, inception, all lights off and romantic. Okay, so we need to make sure this it's removed from those scenes or we need to deactivate those scenes. And then here it is again in the HA switch plate. So that's it. So I was wondering if it was getting included in something and maybe it is included in, it's included in some of these scenes. So let's edit this bedtime scene. But what this should be doing is turning it off. So it should be off. what it should be doing. Yeah, okay, maybe it was on. It was set to on for some reason. That's no good. Okay, we're gonna save it. That might have been part of it. These need to be off too though. Okay. This I don't ever really run this scene, but you found one. You did not, Jeff. Did you seriously already find one? What did you find? <laughs> what did you find, Jeff? I mean, yeah, you might as well. You Mark found one too? Okay. That's cool. Telegram bot API key. Oh, okay. That's okay. I don't use I can I'll just uh I guess I can try and just get rid of that. That's crazy. ESP Home 32 YAML, what's in there, Mark? I'm wondering if I can live with these with these problems. I probably can. I don't I'm not using Telegram. The hundred dollar for the info. <laughs> Gary found one too. Which one did you find, Gary? This is good. This is fun. I'm gonna go back to these other scenes and see what else is included in the meantime, because I do want to stop this light from turning on in the middle of the night. Inception. I don't even know what Inception is. Romantic. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with that. So that one should already be. Switched off, yeah, okay, so that one should be fine. It's been useful and fun. Don't forget to like. Thank you very much, Tony. Crowd searching, nice. Scavenger hunt. Hey, Frisbee golfer, what's up, buddy? APS ID and password of bedroom switches. Uh, that's fine. So what those are, Mark, what those are is, uh, and they're, those are there for all of them. And, and that's just if that device were to go offline, then it would make an access point and it would just put out a an access point so I could connect to it. So that's what those are. And I left I knew those were there and I left those there. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> nice Andrew. That was nice. <laughs> just jumping on. Oh, I'm so late. Sorry, Barn DIY. How's it going, man? I think I found a nose scratcher. Looks like a generic password. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Not a bad one. Okay, good. That one, uh, the Telegram, the Telegram API is probably one that I need to mess with, right? 
control K, then control plus one to fold to level one. Other numbers fold less than control K, then control J to unfold. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Name of my Wi-Fi SSID, you can have that too. And for the ESP home devices, that's in there too. That's fine. The name of the Wi-Fi SSID is fine. I'm okay with that. I knew those were there. What happened to Ron? Oh, uh, pen tester in a former life. My condolences. Gotcha. Okay. I think the problem might have been that master crown uh, button. The other thing that I want to do... So I, so I looked at, so I went to Master Crown, right? And I looked at everything it was associated with. And that's a really nice feature. Come on now. There. This related. It shows you every time that that device is used in something else, which is really nice. So if it was in automations, I could find them here. And it is in these automations, but those don't matter because that device is not turned on. So that's probably fine. I did find it at bedtime that it was turned on. So that might have been something that had been happening. So I went through those and made sure that it was correct or in the correct state in those scenes, and it seemed to be. The other, the other place uh, where I think we may have to deal with a problem with it is, in, uh, is with a retained message. So let's go, let's get out of here. Let's go back and look at the configuration for that device and see what the topic is that it's listening to. And just make sure that there's not a retained message or we'll make sure we have clear out the retained messages in there. So here we are. We're going to find Master Crown. All right, so it's Sonoff SV1 power. These are the, those are the commands. So we're going to go in and send a blank MQTT message that is retained to those commands. And then we'll sign off. Am I frozen? No, sorry, I was reading a text. I was reading an important text message. Forgive me. I'm going to have to deal with that in a minute. All right, so the topic we're going to put in here, we're going to just use these topics. And just do both of them. Publish. And where's the retain? We want to retain, and then we're just not going to put anything in the... Um, in the payload, we'll just publish, okay? And then we'll do the same thing with the state because it's very possible that somewhere along the way previously this device uh, had a retained state and then when it disconnects and reconnects from the network, it defaults to this or the MQTT broker changes its state and turns it on in the middle of the night. And then the very, very last thing is I don't remember what the IP address is. I don't think Sonoff SV1.local will work, but we can try it. No, I didn't think so. So that's fine. We're just going to go to the... Uh, We'll go into the network real quick and we'll find that device. And then we'll just make sure that I have switch retain and stuff. Oh, crap. 
Ay, caramba. My grandpa used to say that all the time. Oops. Sorry. Sign in. Okay, here we go. And <laughs> this doesn't like my dark reader. Now I know some words in Portuguese. <laughs> Is I caramba? Is that Portuguese? I thought it was Spanish. All right, now we're going to find, ooh, that was a bad device. Now we're going to find Master Crown. There we go. 135. Okay. So now we're going to go here. And we're going to go to the console. And we're going to just make sure that Power Retain 1 and Switch Retain 1 are turned on. Okay, that's it. That's everything I could do. So I went to Tasmoda and did Power Retain 1, Switch Retain 1. Went to MQTT, published an empty message, empty as in with no payload, to that topic that was, and with the, re with the retain tag on. So it sort of blanks out, clears out the MQTT retain stuff for that, for that device. And then went into Home Assistant, just made sure that it wasn't being activated by some automation. That's it. That's the best thing I can do to try and get rid of that device or get rid of that device's um, ghost switching. So we'll see. All right. Is there a script with Home Assistant Update GitHub, or do you need to run the command line every time you update? Good question. Good question. The, uh, the instructions here say to keep it up to date. You should update your repository on a regular basis, ideally after you make a major configuration change. The script below will update your repository with any changed configuration files and allow you to add a commit a comment with the commit for packaging or for tracking purposes. You may need to adjust the paths in the script depending on your home system configuration. So here's this update.sh. Okay. Every time you run this script, you will be prompted for a comment to describe the changes that you are committing. This comment will be displayed beside each change that you've changed. Okay. Um, Configuration file testing, extra commands, examples. So I guess you could just, you create this. I'd like to be able to just run this GitHub update sh. Can we just do that? PLC is most, you're better off doing git updates with meaningful changes, not just blanket updates from a schedule. Como llegué aquí? ¿Quién yo? How did you get here? How did I get here? <laughs> I've been a developer for 10 years now. Worked with Python, regular work of Rails, Flutter right now. Oh man, William is a... You can use Git in VS Code now. Oh yeah, that's the way. That's probably the best way to do it. When I make a change in VS Code, it's not going to open a password file here. So when I make a change in VS Code, I can go here. And then I can update the changes here, right? With this. Commit all or staged. I don't know the exact commands. What would I do here? What would I do here? So say I make a change. Ikafar or whoever else. What? So I make a change here. And, and then I want to update Git. Do I just do it from here? Does it, does it automatically track the changes and I just hit commit and it goes? Can I put a link to that page? You bet I can. This is the backup Git to Home Assistant page or backup Home Assistant to GitHub page right there. It's busy refreshing. Just hit the plus. Type your message and then click the check mark. 
Okay. So you hit the plus. And then, oh, type your message right here. And then hit the check mark. Okay. Sweet. You stage it first, then commit. Okay. Bit confused why there are so many changes since you just committed. No say. No say. Should there not be? I wonder why too. And then just hit this. Refresh. Okay, now I've got zero changes. Yay. So this is easy. So when I make a change, so let's say I'm going to uh, change this. Uh, if I do plus, stage all changes. So it's going to say I changed this, and it will be staged. Although it doesn't say there's a stage here. Does Oh, because I didn't save it. Now stage all changes. Well, it still doesn't show it. Maybe it's because it didn't really change. Now hit the arrow. After committing your changes in the overflow menu, select the push option to send it to GitHub. I didn't actually change it. It knows I didn't actually change it. Okay. So I'm going to actually change it by actually making a comment. Now I actually changed it. Yes, now there's a change. Okay, so I made a change. So I want to hit this button to stage all changes. So when I made a change, I hit the stage. Great, now this is staged. It means it's ready to be sent. Okay, this is just a test VS, uh, what are we going to call it, update. And then I can hit this and it will change. it will send that update and now we're good. Right? Will I be making a video of GitHub to follow? I'll tell you what I'll be making is a shortened version of this stream because I've been recording the whole time. It's still only local. You need to hit push in the three dots. Okay, so I need to hit this. And then push. Oh, and then I have to log into GitHub. Oh, okay. And then I have to put in my, is it going to save my password? Hopefully. So that, my password is really long and complicated. I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to type it every time. Okay, it's not showing the password, so I can put this back over here. You never know. It shouldn't show the password, but you never know. You guys getting this? You recording my keystrokes? Okay. Log in. Well, I, you know, I need to. You periodically run git fetch? Ask me later. Okay. Now did it do it? it Should have, right? And the reflection in my eyes. <laughs> Hello there. Please don't make a mess in daddy's office. And whatever you do, don't eat all his cinnamon bears. Hey, where'd you get that from? Oh, that he got, uh, that's from my alarm. <laughs> Fetch will look for new commit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Paging. Paging. Check the purple band on the bottom. Oh, it didn't find these. It doesn't like this icon. Okay. Check Discord. Okay. You can press the arrows to push and pull. Oh, okay, cool.
The up and down arrows. Oh, I don't have up down arrows. So if I change it, I want this to go back away again. So if I do make another change, and save it. Where's my up and down? Why don't I have up and down arrows? Oh, I don't need it because I already did. Stage. Commit. Message. And now down here, I've got the up and down arrows. Can you see that? Okay, this is what Matheson's been trying to tell me. Now down here, I've got the up and down arrows. So this tells me I've got a, a uh, something waiting to update. This action will push comments, uh, commits. Okay, perfect. Now this is going to send the changes that I made up to GitHub right there with that button. I like that. Sweet. Scream, run, hide. You also, he's, <laughs> holy crap, there's water in the basement. Call someone. <laughs> Violent Foo's going through my alarms, my uh, text-to-speech alarms. Uh, stage commit, push the three steps to get coding to GitHub. Yep. So stage, message, commit, and then this will, and then this arrow to push them up. Nice. That's not too bad at all. Sweet. Thanks, everybody. It's unfair to us chat screamers that Blade can just page you with a light. <laughs> Well, I'm working on something. I'm working on something. What is that? What happened down there? I'm working on, I'm working on ways to make, uh, I'm working on ways to make, um, uh, different, uh, people able to, to do different things. Did I see your message, Reese? Which one? The one about unfair that you, that you can't scream. You'd just be screaming bit of that or bit warden at me. Blade has earned the right to page me. That man has put some serious work in. Hey, how's it going, Jose? Jose? Jose Fretas. Okay, well, cool. That was a great, I think that was a good one. I think that was a good stream, guys. I think we did fantastic. Um, thank you, Sir Good Enough, for, for continuing to push the, um, especially the Twitch subscriptions. I'm really working on trying to get Twitch subscriptions. Um, if you have Amazon uh, Prime and you're not using your, your free Twitch subscription, please subscribe to me. If I go to Twitch, let me show you what I'm gunning for here. This is, I don't know what this is going to show. Uh oh, there are a couple other people that can page me. So somebody just did again. Who was it? <laughs> Jeff, your son, your son's an idiot. <laughs> Which one? Let's see. Wasn't you blade? All the radiance can do it. So if you're uh, so I don't know who did it, but somebody paged me. See, that's got, that's a problem. See, we got to watch out. You get, if, uh, if I'm getting paged, if we're doing false alarms, you know, what do I mean? Paging Tycho. So, uh, was it Mark? It was Mark. Darn busted. <laughs> uh, just pretend like you had something important to say. Um, by paging what we need, that's a, that's uh I guess that's just the command we used or it's the way that the bot uh, describes the, the idea. Anyways, we have a, um, a web hook that's hooked into a bot that, uh, will activate my light. So somebody can type in a, a message in discord and it will ping the light and turn the light on in the room. So we're going to do some more stuff like that. I did, but it took so long. I forgot. <laughs> Great stuff. Got in late today. We'll restream and Twitch. Thanks, Pat. It was a good one. It was a good one today. Are we able to pass parameters to that webhook? Not that one, but we should be able to. We should be able to. We'll get you. We'll get you something you can do like that, Tycho. We're gonna make so we'll have different things that different levels can do. We just have to, you know, you gotta, you gotta imagine it would be a little. I gotta be a little judicious, um, you know, because I don't want everybody. Everybody wants my attention. That's how we end up, you know, never getting anything done. <laughs> so. I got to be a little judicious with how, with, with what I allow to be, uh, activated in that manner, but I, I do like it. I think it's a fun thing to do. And so we're going to do, 
We're going to, we're going to do more of it. We're going to do more of it for sure. Conservative, judicious. Uh, I wanted to go in here and I wanted to show my, I think if I go to creator dashboard, that's probably okay. I don't know what it's going to show. So let me just double check. There's a, uh, is it achievements? New items? No. I have 99 subscribers. One more and I get a, and I'll have a hundred. Anybody out there ready to subscribe? Anybody out there ready to subscribe? There's a uh, road to partner. That's what I was trying to, that's what I'm trying to find. Roles manager, channel points, insights, streaming tools, creator camp, Twitch. Road to partner. And I don't know exactly what that does. I don't know what being a partner exactly does, but it seems like. Okay, there it is. Insights and. All right, Evan was the man. Number 100, Evan. Thank you, brother. Uh, 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 uh. We're doing two at once because it's so awesome. Seven days left before you have to redo it. That's right, and you do have to redo it. You do have to resubscribe um, every month. They used to let you just let it go automatically. Achievements. All right, Frisbee Golfer, thank you, brother. Here we go, path to affiliate. Oh, path to partner. I've already done the affiliate. Here's path to partner. So this is where we're, this is what I'm gunning for. Okay, this is what I'm gunning for. Uh, stream for 25 hours, pfft. And, they, and I guess they keep track of this. This is like a 30-day thing or whatever. Uh, stream on 12 different days. Pfft, blew that away. This is the one. This is the one. Average 75 viewers in 51 hours streamed. And I'm getting there. Crawling up. I'm crawling up. I'm crawling up. But, uh, you know, most of, most viewers are going through YouTube. And that's great. If you like YouTube, that's, that's I'm not going to say YouTube's not good and don't do YouTube. But this is what we're trying to do. Thank you, Evan. I love being here. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate that. 25 hours, nothing to it, right? I have a Dutch Amazon Prime. I'll try to connect it to Discord and then sign up to you. Thank you very much, Mark. I hope that will work. I hope that will work. Just open in the background. That's right, Tycho. Open in the background. And if you if you prefer watching the chat on YouTube or something, great. But if you, uh, if you do me the favor, at least, of opening up the Twitch stream in the background, I'll appreciate that. Watch on Twitch in the future. All right, thanks. You don't like Twitch chat? You can, you know, you can mix and match, uh, Nigel, do what you like. I don't want you to not watch the stream because I'm only doing Twitch or something crazy like that. Right. All right. Leathlon. Thank you, my buddy. What, what would you like? Leathlon. What do you want to do? You want to do, uh, you tell me, you tell me what you want. Twitch app doesn't work as well for me for streaming. Yeah. And so don't do it. Don't, don't use it. And if what you're watching is on the phone and it's that, then no worries. Really seriously. No worries. No worries. Long time viewer. Oh, good. Well, thank you very much, Leathon. Give me the unicorns. Give me the unicorns. Double viewer. <laughs> Actually, does that mean does that mean my views, my viewer count is really only half of what it really is? <laughs> I think that is what it means. <laughs> I moved this on accident sometime today. Oh, that's funny. Oh, da, 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 da. Moving over to Twitch is what I usually use anyways. Oh, awesome. Steven, fantastic. You guys are fantastic. We're just going to keep on doing this. We're just going to keep on rolling through these things. You know what? Um, you mean Purdy? It's Purdy. Sorry for inflating your numbers. <laughs> Twitch doesn't allow you to let you watch from the beginning while you're still live. YouTube does. Oh, okay, cool. Smithy Clay, thank you, my friend. You can lock it in OBS, you know. I can lock what in OBS? How do we watch this newfangled Twitch thing? Ooh, how do we watch this newfangled Twitch thing? We just go to, if you go to twitch.tv and then you just search for me, search for Dr. Z's. There you go. And if you, um, if you do that and there's a way to link your Amazon account, if you have the the Twitch, uh, if you have an Amazon Prime, there's a way to link it. I don't exactly remember how, but you guys can do all that stuff. You guys are, you guys are smart. All right. And Christian 
Tahera. Anna Christian Tahera, thank you very much. Sent you a DM. Oh, okay, thanks, Blade. What's happening? What's happening? I got so many DMs I haven't read here. Wait, I didn't get a DM. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was delayed a little bit. Oh my gosh. Look at what Blade's got going. Holy moly. Holy moly. <laughs> he's got, he's coding. Oh, this is Discord over here. And me in the middle. And the chat over here. And leopard skin. And a tablet down here. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet setup, man. That's one heck of a man cave. Get all your devices up, up uh, loaded up, guys. Just finished watching your entire stream on two times speed. Your entire stream was in squirrel mode. <laughs> your monitor is bent. I see it back. Send it back. Yeah, it's bent. Got this one. It was broken. All right. Happy day, Dr. Z. Just before quit time, how's it going, crazy editor? This was a good one. This was a good one for all of uh, for all the folks that uh, have been asking me to finally get my my uh, configuration up on GitHub. Uh, it's there. It's there now. Uh, the only thing I do need to fix is that one about uh, um, tele um, Telegram. I did end up with my Telegram thing in there. Tw more Twitch subscribers. And when you do, when you get a Twitch, sub when you do the Twitch subscription, go in. Make sure you link with Discord as well. Oh, it doesn't let you sub with primary. So I'm sorry, buddy. Well, that's okay. I appreciate it anyways. I appreciate you anyways. Thank you, Steven. Whoa, what's that 100% up there? What is that doing in the chat? Something crazy is happening. Hype! What's the hype? Holy moly, what's hype about in stream? Level one completed. We did something. Look at that. I don't know what we did. The hype train. Woohoo! Sub gift or use bits to get to the next level. Oh, wow. Cool. So Twitch, one of the fun things about Twitch is they do have a lot of games and things like that. And YouTube doesn't. And Restream and bots can, we can do some crossover, but not everything crosses over. So, but again, it's just whatever you like. I do, I'm, I, the last dang thing I'm ever going to do is say, I'm leaving YouTube, you know, for Twitch only um, because YouTube's where I got my started. Carlo, thank you, amigo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just going to keep doing this for a few more minutes. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, ba, ba. Three loss safe. <laughs> Three loss safe. Oh my gosh, look at the hype train is going. Every time we get a subscription, it, the hype train just starts jumping. Okay, this is fun. We're going to have to keep doing this for a few more minutes. <laughs> Should we do something while we're doing this? All right, and Scythium, another cheer, 100 cheer. And I think that's like a buck. It's like a dollar, right? You have to buy those. You used to be able to watch ads. Like you could watch ads and earn those those stream bits. But um, I don't know if you can do that anymore or not. I haven't removed it. I haven't removed it, but thank you, Tycho. Somebody found, yeah. Were you the first one found it? Somebody else found it, I think, uh, pretty quickly. I need to learn some more words. Bring, it on, bring on the challenge. All right. There you go. Not sure I got these, but they're yours now. <laughs> uh, you used to get them from watching ads, but you know, I don't know what they do now. I'm at 65 Twitch. Nice. 65 viewers on Twitch. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, this can be useful for Telegram. Oh, Jeff. Yes, it was Jeff found it. So um, I'll just have to go. I mean, I don't even care if I just delete my Telegram account and shut it off and if I go back to using it, I'll use it again. That's what I'll do. I think rather than recommit the whole thing again and make a new repository and all that stuff, I'll just, it's easier for me to just cut that out. Make a video just talking Portuguese. Can I do it? Nope. I could possibly, possibly do it in Spanish. I'm pretty good with Spanish, um, but I am not going to do Portuguese. It's uh, I'm too old to learn another language. <laughs> it's hard enough to get to Spanish. And I'm barely speaking English, honestly. You can post three lost safe in Discord and you'll understand. Oh yeah, the three lost safe, you guys, oh yeah. Will all my YouTube content be on here too? Yes, and actually, thank you very much, Fing. Here we go. Woohoo! And every time somebody subscribes, it drops a little thing in the bucket down there too. I can try and make that bucket a little, little bigger. Try and put the bucket over here by my face. 
All right, Addy Photo. Thank you, guys. Once the secret is out, it's way easier to stop using the key, right? At this point, it's going to be way easier to just use the key. You're going to teach me, Andrisk? All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, man. It just keeps on going. This is fantastic. You guys are awesome. Loving this. Don't forget to look out for those Starlink satellites tonight. Ooh, really? There's satellites in the UK? That sounds awesome. All right, Migro Mao. I gotta run out. I need more, I need more animations. <laughs> I want to make it so that uh, some of these things are automatic with the animations. We're going to be level two here in a second. We're going to be level two. And I've got a friend coming over to visit and he may be here. So we're going to have to stop. We hit level two. All right. We'll call, we'll call that an accomplishment for today. And we'll pick up the next stream in a couple days. Is Jerem here? Oh, Jerem's here. Okay, great. Mwah. Send, you can send him up and tell him I'll finish up streaming here. So one, this is my good buddy. This is my good buddy, um, Jerem Webster from Mexico, from my mission in Mexico. So I met Jerem in 1997 and we've been buddies ever since. We've been buddies forever. Did someone ask for animations? Hey, creative. Yeah, I do. I need some more like things that can go across the background for Twitch. So anything you got, anything you got. And, and if I can green screen out the background, that'd be, be awesome. 97 was a good year. So anyways, Jeremy is here from out of town and he's, I told him, come on over. Yeah. Cause I thought I'd be done streaming like a half an hour ago. <laughs> and then we got the hype train going and I had to keep going. Now we're on level three for goodness sakes. All right. So, uh, hit me up with my ideas. Awesome. Thank you very much. Explode the unicorns. <laughs> All right. I got to introduce Jeremy first and then we'll, is he coming? Yeah. He's probably saying, he's saying hi to everybody along the way. A train crash, nipple fish, got my 10 D1 minis today. Sweet. You will be busy. First words, bon amigo, bon amigo, bon amigo. <laughs> this is my bon amigo. <laughs> Pilot training 97. It's like a hundred years ago. About to sub Reese. Okay, sweet. Do it, Reese. I'm going to have to, we're, him and I are going to have to go drive through and get some tacos because I'm hungry. 78 Twitchers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So if we can average 75, then I, I don't know for sure what that needs. Oh, I need your latest. I need your latest tutorial video. Fantastic. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what getting to partner means, but I'm sure it means something good. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> you're shaving while you're watching. Nice, Ashwin. Be careful. Are you, are you watching in a magic mirror then? Is that how you're doing it? New soldering iron and parts for multi-sensor. Awesome. 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 As far as I know, to be partner, you cannot dual broadcast. Oh, is that right? Once I'm a partner, I can't dual broadcast. Oh, I'm actually not supposed to dual broadcast anyways, I think. But we'll find out. He doesn't want to be on TV. All right. Jeremy doesn't want to be on TV, so I'm going to have to go down there and say hi to him. So uh, should we sign off? Mm -hmm. Should we call the kids up for sign off? Yes. I haven't tried my magic cube in a long time. I don't think it works. Which one, which one is it? I think you, you throw it up in the air. This one. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll give it a try. Sounds better on Twitch. Tell your wife I love you. It means uh, amo te. Oh, that's close to Spanish. Te amo. What does this thing do? Well, this is better than TV. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Twitch is good. Twitch has good. Twitch is good. Amazon's ruling the world, but Twitch is good. <laughs> All right, let's sign off. Let's just tell everybody it's time for sign off. If anybody wants to come, probably Grace will come. It's the peace out symbol. This was, this was fun. This is better than TV. It's better than watching TV, huh? It's better for me than just sitting around doing nothing. I did put, somebody was asking about the bug. Oh, I told you earlier, didn't you? <laughs> and more audience to the TV. Yep. <laughs> All right. I do hear some footsteps. All right. Mini me. I got mini me up here. Oh, you're so warm. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Sure. Better than working. <laughs> All right. How are we going to subscribe? We're going to sub how are we going to sign off? How are we going to How are we going to sign off? How do you want to sign off? Um 
Like we've been in quarantine for two months. Yeah, like crazy. Okay, we're gonna sign up like we've been in quarantine for two months. Ready? As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. Oh, that hurt my neck. <laughs> Have a great one, everybody. I'll update the calendar. My guess is next stream will be Saturday. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Thanks, everybody, for the Twitch hype trains and all that stuff. Adios, amigos. I haven't updated the calendar, but I will.